Well, it's been a day of double trouble at the AFL Tribunal with Eagle Jeremy McGovern failing to overturn a one-week ban, while docker Michael Walters is fighting his suspension right now. Joshua Dorr is at Docker's headquarters tonight. Josh, tell us what's happening there. Michael, good evening. Well, Michael Walters is still behind closed doors as the AFL Tribunal deliberates over his one-match ban for headbutting Melbourne defender Jay Lockhart. Now, the AFL Council called in Curtis Deboy, who was the field umpire closest to the incident, and his evidence was crucial, arguing that the impact was enough to constitute a one-match ban. But Fremantle went pretty hard at him questioning his memory of the incident before calling up Melbourne's Jay Lockhart himself, who gave evidence saying while he felt contact of the headbutt, there was no pain and it was more of a surprise, if anything. Now, earlier, Jeremy McGovern's one-match ban for rough conduct was upheld. The Eagle attempted to argue that he never meant to push Mac Welfie into a chair, the chair which was central to the Eagle's argument that uh, came into contact with Mac Welfie and he was unable to brace his fall before making impact with the fence. The AFL said he gave away any deliberation of protecting the player's care when he elected to push and therefore, after 11 minutes, the tribunal found him guilty. Here's how he reacted to the decision. I do that exact motion all over the ground. Um, this time it was on the on the boundary, but uh, which was unfortunate for myself. But um, yeah, it, it is what it is, and um, I'm just glad Matt Matt's health's okay. That was our, our main our main issue was making sure he was okay, which which he is. So McGovern will miss the game against Hawthorne. Tomo later in sport will have the latest as the Dockers continue their deliberations here, as well as who's in line to replace Jeremy McGovern on Saturday. Michael. A marathon hearing. Josh, thank you.